Next up, that was a great segment I felt. So let's uh, let's breeze through these. Vitalik Buterin updates Ethereum 2.0 roadmap. So what is going on? So the Ethereum co-founder says the leading smart contract protocol will, will rely on rollups to massively elevate the throughput of the leading smart contracts by 660,000%. Uh, that's pretty big. How's he gonna do that? Well, he says today Ethereum has 15 TPS transactions per second. If everyone moves to rollups, we will have soon 3000 TPS. So to give you a comparison of what transaction per seconds actually mean and what uh, the different corporations can do, we've got Bitcoin at seven, <laughs> oh my God, seven. Ethereum at 20, well, 15. Dash, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash at 60, it's pretty good. PayPal, look, PayPal's 193, not too bad. Ripple, 1500, and Visa, Azabadov, 24,000. And that's just what they talk about. But in reality, I think it's a little bit lower than that. So if they can get to 3000, then so much the better. But if we're talking about a hundred thousand TPS, then you're beating the pants off of Visa, and I'd like to see that. But he says, once phase one comes along and rollups move to ETH2 sharded chains for the data storage, we go to a theoretical max of 100,000. Eventually, phase two will come along, bring ETH2 sharded chains with native computation, which give us a thousand to five thousand. So, definitely one to watch. Hopefully, they can actually do it. Bitter explains that rollups are a scaling method that enables Ethereum to keep compressed transactions on chain while delegating computations such as contract execution off chain. So it just speeds everything up in an off chain fashion. But the question that I have is with the advancement and the way that things move in this space, I mean, the roadmap from phase zero, one and two is two years. Uh, look at what just happened with DeFi in the last month. So do we really have two years to really get to that point? Look, I love Ethereum. I think it's fantastic. And I've got a pretty big amount of my uh, stash in there. But I have to hedge my bet. And I have to take a look at other smart contracts and other oracles. And one of those uh, would be like Tezos, also Cardano, also EOS. And then XRP is actually always get, actually getting into the game with the smart contract and oracles, uh, which they just announced uh, yesterday because they just got approved for a patent for Oracle. And then, of course, with the uh, Flare uh, token drop, they're getting into smart contracts. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, I don't feel like it's ever a great idea to put your eggs all in one basket. That's why I talk about Bitcoin Maximus. I think that they're a little short-sighted and they should, uh, you know, kind of take the horse binders off and see what else is out there because I don't think Bitcoin can do it all. I don't think it can do it. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.